Well guys, Valentine's Day is coming up and this year I'm gonna treat all of my girlfriends with a little Galentine's present. I'm making these simple marbleized clay dishes that you can use to dress up a dresser or a vanity and I'm sure just about any lady in your life would love to have one. Here's what you'll need to make your own. A self-healing cutting mat, one large block of oven bake white clay, assorted colors of oven bake clay, cereal bowl, a small knife, oven safe ramekin, small paintbrush, gilding paint, enamel paint, a drinking glass. Okay guys, before we get started, you wanna cover your work surface with a piece of parchment or wax paper to prevent sticking. And now we're going to cut our clay. Now I chose a very valentiny palette of shades of red and pink, silver, and some white. But a good rule of thumb is pick white, a neutral, like our grayish silver, and then two or three colors. You want twice as much white as your other colors because that's gonna give you a really good marbled effect. We'll cut two good chunks of white, a medium chunk of the silvery gray, a medium chunk of our ballet pink, and then smaller chunks of our accent colors, which are red and neon pink. Now it's time to roll these out. We're gonna go back to grade school and roll these into nice long snakes. You wanna make sure to choose a soft oven baked clay so that you don't have to put too much muscle into it to get it rolled out. You're gonna wanna make each snake about six to eight inches long. All right, once we have all of our little snakes rolled out, you're gonna gather them all together and twist them into like a big candy cane. And then we're gonna roll this out into a long snake. Once you've got that rolled out onto a nice long snake, you're gonna fold it in half in the middle and twist it around on itself and roll it out again. Now, if you do this four or five times, you'll get big bands of color in your marbleized bowl. If you do it more than that, you'll get denser, narrower bands of color. The good thing is they look great no matter what. Okay, once your colors are looking good and marbly, I'm gonna take it and wad it up into a ball. Roll that to give it a good smooth surface. And now, Kind of take a look and pick part of the ball that really has like a good representation of all of your colors. And you're gonna to wanna to put that facing up because that's gonna be the inside surface of your bowl. So you want it to be the prettiest part. Now we're gonna take a drinking glass or a jar or a rolling pin and roll this out to one quarter inch thickness. Now I like to use a clear glass for this so that I can look through and see the pattern as it develops. But a regular old rolling pin will work just fine. Okay, so once you have it rolled out nice and thin, you're going to want to take a cereal bowl, lay it on top, and then use your small knife to trim away the excess. Now your excess clay you can toss or you can roll into a bead, poke a hole, and bake it alongside your bowl. Carefully lift up your piece of clay from the paper and drape across the bottom of your oven safe ramekin, making sure that you kind of line it up in the middle. Now you can kind of play with the edges to flute them, you know, in kind of a loose, organic way. You know, we don't want anything too perfect. And now this is all ready to go on a baking sheet into a 275 degree oven for 15 minutes. So this has had a chance to cool and now we're going to finish it by giving the edge a little sparkle. On some of these, I painted them with a glossy black enamel, but for this one, I'm going gold. Make sure you're in a well-ventilated area when you're using this gilding paint because it is pretty stinky. And just brush it along the edge of your bowl. All 
All right, so I'm gonna let that dry, but these versatile little bowls can be filled with just about anything you want. Office supplies, jewelry, wrapped candies, you name it. I can't wait to fill them with goodies and give them to some of my favorite girls this Valentine's Day. I'll see you guys next time.